to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Motion to approve the minutes as stated. I'll say. Motion to approve by Mr. Briggs. I'll say. Second by Mr. Moreland. Uh, Ms. Lee said she would uh, watch the tape and read the minutes on the tape. Uh, it's acceptable, so everybody should be sure to see what she can do. So we have a meeting. We have a motion by Mr. Briggs, a second by Mr. Moreland. Um, there's any discussion or any other? like to point out uh, as I reviewed this application I noticed that Mark Beeler is still listed as chairman on this form I don't know if the form has been updated but if it hasn't we need to do that I realized we let this application out while Mark was still the chairman I just wanted to point that out I didn't notice that as well Mr. Beeler was kind of done before that because he received a copy of it uh, before that so I appreciate Mr. Beeler doing that but yes we need to amend
conversation with Elliot. The uh, property of the intersection, the corner of the citizens that Mr. Farman owns. And I'm going to get in touch with Mr. Farman. I was told that Elliot uh, called me back and said he had a good conversation with Mr. Farman. The subject of that was Mr. Farman's. Likely, but if you receive a conversation in reference to the hotel, the homeless hotel. Mr. Griesbach, who we came to now a couple years ago, spoke to this, is going to be in Kentucky next month in July. And Mr. Griesbach is going back to Detroit, obviously, Kentucky is going to come down back to Hartford. And if I understand correctly, he's going to have a conversation with me with Mr. Carter about possible locations that might. Be available for sale. Um, it, at some point, I think Mr. Cronin is still hatching that out. And it can seem to be oops, a possibility. At that point, I would like to put together at that same time a month or two that we know Dr. Scott, right? Is there um, anyone else on board that might like to attend that would like to be there? But probably start talking about we. Energizing the investment group and the formation of that, as well as uh, I explained to Elliot the sense speaking on the development that funded the hotel piece of study in Florence, and that that thing has a limited shelf life. That I'm not willing to go back and ask for funding for a second program until we get further down the road to know that this is a likely. Possible project depending on the feasibility study because I don't want to waste our money for us. Is it going to expire? So if we don't take advantage of it, then we're going to waste it again. And you know, it's uh, so you, you know, we should be able to waste our money for a good reason to go in and we have to be put forward to be able to use that time and action. I have a call today from uh, Lexi Beasley, uh, just, just kind of touch the base. To see if we were pleased with the forward momentum. Uh, I just heard some of the government was, was active on, on this. And uh, we had a good conversation. She was just checking in to see if we were, we were satisfied with our progress. She did indicate that I told her that I was either missed it or it was unclear that most of the retail solicitation for other franchises to come to town would take place in your team. They said they kind of push that back a little further, but now that things are loosened up, they're going to probably move that time to line up more like October. So we're probably not going to work. We're probably just start becoming pretty aggressive about calling these franchises. If we can take advantage, that's the slight of that they probably just probably have this probably the most desirable property in the community for a hotel picture. And I'm waiting too long to let that become spoken for before we got back to it. So we kind of have to push it a little bit out there. But they seem to be, they seem to be loud for it. And I'm sure the emergency to take advantage of that. Do we have any other issues to see about? I else had the sure. I had some for the retail strategy, so the nine percent of the retail strategy that we uh we just they helped my office with a great application we filed last Friday as part of the free star program we get up to a fifty thousand dollar grant and we submitted that it has to go to one of our priority homes and this afternoon I put together our report for the three star meeting that we had. Now, Bar Hill, one of the three was downtown, two dollars each. One of those are specifically mentioned the wayfinding, and that's also we have retail strategies, so strategic plan for downtown. So that's why we submitted the grant application for us. So we submitted all the economic data on us, and I just filled out a couple of background information on it, submit that to three star last Friday. So hopefully, that'll be funded. Uh, it did come in a little over $50,000. 
rents will be like fifty seven thousand four hundred dollars but that's the problem who's writing the signs out of the city limits way the signs once you get into town directly to downtown and other places inside the community so that should cover a lot if the county is on that and put something in it will all be about seven thousand four hundred dollars so given that that is part of it, not only the strategic plan that we got a fairly good put together, but also the Hartsville Connectivity Plan that came out of the community transportation funding or planning that funded by PDOT in 2016. We got two planes in a row that said we need to focus on this. So uh, we thought that probably the best plan for both looking at what we had put together. So uh, they can help me with that. And we're also been getting updates on properties in the community. You know, the ones out here, part of my local Paris home, and I talked to the gentleman about that. I've been updating on that. And, uh, some of the other properties around here, so I'm going to try to keep them updated with uh, happenings on those properties. The number two that are currently making, I haven't spoken to, but all the rest of them I've spoken to. Some of them have been actually been recipients of the facade grant, so they're going to. Use the facade rate and do the outside of the building to create or turn it into a place for sale. So I've been updating that as we go along. That's awesome. I, I, the email, you know, she said I have the rate, but it's the rate I just said. So I was very excited personally about that. At least it's like that the signage, clear, cold, exactly the signage is the real. So I was really excited. So she said, the river is not so that's all. So that's that's inside that. Yeah, so the fact that I looked at it and it was $50,000, we kind of had, had it in the seven days. So we just looked at it and what's going to pay $50,000. Some of the other things that you mentioned really wouldn't have to pay the bank for your book. That just seemed like it was the one stuck out the best piece of fun. So that's what we said. Very good. Thank you, Eric. That's very exciting. If we turn this thing on Friday, and Patriot out there for breakfast. Last I heard, they entered into uh, a written agreement to sell the land. I think they still negotiation. I haven't heard an update after that. I do know there are some pipelines that have to be delivered because right now, Texas Central is trying to find ways to fund that. It's going to be about $92,000, I believe. But that should open up. Several pieces of property from the middle of the river. Uh, I believe they're trying to find funding for that right now through various organizations. I ran into the dollar before we had lunch, probably for several days. It was back from having a certain percentage of the country because they're more than So he, he indicated that everything was all okay. The city should call me and have those things. Anyone else have any anything? Uh, comments? Is there any comments? Is there anything else you to say? There might be some things coming up that I'm not going to work on this to bring it out. The gentleman is taking a quarter place. Did he get the movie here also? Is that just a second? No, he got that also. Yeah. Well, I don't know uh, about so what you guys can see. It's like I have seen a lot of TV and different things that they were the changing maybe steps in the right direction. So that's uh, something that I'm excited about. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. I, I, I agree. spoken to several organizations for spilling this American Rescue Fund. They really want you to have a plan to go forward and get back up to that. There are possibilities for using some of the free economic development purposes for still trying to get exactly what the final rule is and how we're to use that. And I would like at least one representative of the industrial level board to serve as a person on this little top steering committee for lack of a better term. So I would just ask if there's anybody that's going to volunteer or be volunteer, uh, I'd be willing to 
either you can send me a name later or somebody's going to do it right now with me. I appreciate that. I'll try to put you. I met an organization yesterday that I had no idea they offered me services. So I'm trying to put them now. So I've really contacted a lot of different ones in a lot of different areas. So when they need you for mental health services, if you use for substance abuse services, if you need use for economic development, there's, there's a lot of things that theoretically can be used for as long as treasury rules will allow us to do that. So. Well, look, there's no other business. Uh, I know it's kind of short but I thought it was important to officially accept the, uh, the application that he did make before the deadline. So uh, I'm going to take a motion. Mr. Boyle, Second. 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 Second